we had information that uh, uh, there was a case of infection of COVID-19 in Brunei as well as Malaysia in the press. Uh, after attending a uh, congregation uh, of what we, we know as Jama'at tab Tablik uh, in Kuala Lumpur. Uh, what we also know that there was a board which uh, records the number, recorded the number of uh, people from different countries who also attended uh, this, uh, this, this, this gathering. Uh, apparently, whether the numbers are right or wrong, uh, there were 95 recorded for Singaporeans. One of the participants who came back uh, became sick a few days after returning. Um, he, in the meantime, uh, while the event ended around 1st of March, uh, he went and sought medical attention around the 9th of March. So about nine days after uh, he came back. I do not know exactly what day he came back. But in, the, in the, between coming back, arriving in Singapore and uh, at getting medical attention, uh, he also performed duties uh, of an officer of a mosque and in that process visited four mosques in performing his duties. After the 9th of March, having uh, sought medical attention, on 11th of March, NCID contacted him and brought him to NCID. And then the results were positive on the 12th of March, which is today. So having now known that he is positive, uh, we had to take a few action to make sure that uh, we can contain uh, this from becoming a com community spread, particularly among most uh, uh, attendees. There's also another person who also uh, um, determined to be positive. We are still tracing his movement for the last few days and we do not know whether he went to a mosque or otherwise. Um, MOH is doing likewise. Now we are not certain whether the 95 uh, numbers are, number is accurate, but we certainly know that the, uh, we have identified the, one of the leaders of this uh, congregation of Singaporeans uh, who led the Singaporeans, and we know there were 82 of them. 82 of them who participated and now MOH, uh, we have given the names to MOH. MOH is doing contact tracing. And uh, the process, of course, from MOH, if they, they know, if they are known to be sick, NCID then will take over the case. But if not, then uh, they will be advised appropriately what they need to do. Now, Muiz has decided because the four mosques that uh, this person have gone to, while he may, not, he may still be asymptomatic uh, at that point of time, uh, need to be sanitized quickly. So we shut down this four mosques quickly today, and uh, sanitization work has already commenced. But we think that it is also important to extend the exercise to all mosques. So all mosques will be shut down for five days, and which means that uh, tomorrow there will be no Friday prayers. Now, this is important because we need to protect uh, ourselves, our community, our loved ones, and more so knowing the impact, the effect of uh, uh, COVID-19 on the uh, seniors, the elderly. Uh, as, and as we know that many of the people who come to the mosque are retired senior people, and therefore we, th we think it is important uh, to, for the moment, uh, prevent such big congregations in our mosque. A week ago, I, I invited a number of doctors and uh, Asatiza to come together to form a working group, Malay Muslim working group on COVID-19, and to officially convene tomorrow. And 
whether it's prescience or fortuitous, uh, something happened today, and therefore they actually have a non-theoretical uh, operation to actually implement. And they will then work on the four sectors of our mosque, or mosque clusters, and provide uh, advice uh, to the mosque as well as to the uh, uh, public, the kind of things that we all must uh, no more take, uh, take for granted.